Visco. Hi, how are you doing? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do one to one and one to two bridge setup for CPE 510. One of them is going to act as transmitter, and another two are going to act as transceivers. So let's see what we have inside the box. Bridge, power cord, theory adapter. Alright, now we are going to set up our transmitter. First, we connect the power cord to the DOE adapter and then plug it in the main socket and the connect cable to connect the DOE cord of the power adapter. Connect the LAN cord of the DOE adapter. First, we go to network and internet settings. Then we go to network and sharing center. Internet. And properties. IPv4. Now we go to a web browser. connection is not private so we go advance and proceed to the answer so right here we need to key in the default username and password so agree to the term of use and log in now we will be able to set our own username so we are in the bridge setting of the access point so we go to quick setup we select the access point then go next and here we can select our own IP address for the bridge for the access point I will select 200 here we can name our SSID and the AP and we also can set the password for this AP. Go advance and proceed. Now as you can see the IP address is different. It is the one that I set just now 200. Can see everything is set so for the setup of transmitter is done and of course you can do the setting for the wireless and network but i'm not going to do it now so after done setting we can unplug the internet cable connected to our laptop and plug it into the switch Alright, now we can proceed to set up our first transceiver also known as Lyric So, basically the setup is exactly the same Alright, now we can proceed to the setup of our first Transceiver. And we go to quick setup, select client, and we can set our IP address for this transceiver. I'm going to set 201. Right here, we need to look for the IP to get the signal that we want to receive from it. So this is the one that we have set up just now. So connect and up here we need to key in the password of the IP. 
next um, we're done so back here we can check if it is connected so for the transit and transit there is a value that means uh, they are connected so the setup for the first transceiver is done all right once the setup for the first client is done we can unplug the project 45 connector that is connected to the laptop to the device that you want to connect so up to this point the one-to-one -one bridge setup is done and I'm, now I'm going to show you how to set up another client so for the second client I just connect the LAN port of the PoE adapter to my laptop and now we can start to do setting at our PC so same as how we set our first client Transceiver, I'm going to use 202 and actually we select the IP that we want to connect to and this is the one this is the IP that we have set so connect and the password of the IP okay so finish you can see the IP address is the one that I set so this will be my second transceiver now we check this part you can see that there is a transmit rate and transceive rate so which means uh, it is connected and receiving signal from the IP so set up for 1 to 2 bridge is done I hope you have learned something today have a nice day